Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see there are four cutouts on the slide and when I click uh, option one will pop up from the cutouts, then the option two, three and the last option four. And similarly, I have created one more slide uh, with a little uh, difference where you can see here some shadow effect has been given. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, select shapes, under shapes select a rounded corner rectangle. Make the height and width as the height as 5.4 inches and width as 1.6 inches and then you align it center and middle right mouse click go to the format shape I'm going to change the gradient color go to fill and say gradient fill I'm going to keep only two stops delete the remaining two the first one I'm going to give some dark color here maybe this color teal color and the other side I'm just going to give some lighter shade of the same color and similarly I'm going to give the line also the gradient fill select the gradient fill and give the same color a dark and here the light and then we need to change the the direction of it because the line darker should come on top just see if there's any option you want to do it I'm just going to give some uh, weightage increase the weightage you come to the weightage and just increase the width if you want you can do it further press ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm just going to cut this also before that again do the align center and align middle and remove the outlines go to insert select a rectangle and I'm going to cut this much first select the rectangle the rounded corner rectangle and then the blue rectangle merge shape say subtract so that much part I have deleted for this I'm going to give some uh, dark gray color and I'm going to make the width as 1.55 inches so that the border should be visible and I'm going to press ctrl D again I'm going to give some uh, shadow effect cut effect align it center and then go to insert shapes select a right triangle and I'm going to cut this into half again in this shape select the rectangle and the right triangle and subtract it so you got this one make it no outline and give a white color white fill again align center and align middle and increase the transparency level so it will give you some kind of a good shadow effect there and I'm just going to add some a background shadow for this again press ctrl D to duplicate it make it a, a gray color no outline you can increase the transparency level and go to the effects under glow sorry under soft adjust increase the the size and just tilt a little bit
and send this to back. We can increase the transparency level further. Now this is done. I am just going to shapes, select a right triangle. So this is where I am just going to give a cutout effect. Make it no outline. Go to insert shape and select a rectangle. Draw a small rectangle like this. Give a gradient fill. I am going to use a white as well as some gray combination and make it path the type as well as go to effects and increase the soft edges again bend a little bit and just put it here You can increase the size. I'm just going to change the background color to light gray. So for the rectangle also, I'm just going to use the same color so that it will blend with the background. make it no outline and this white also I'm just going to give the same color light gray so that it will blend with the background I think this is okay now you can see a cutout effect happened already now it's time to add some text add the text here and use some bold fonts as a header I'm going to use Arial Nova make it bold and put it on the top and you can change the font color to white and then you can add a detailed text below Reduce the font size, remove the bold and you can type equals L-O-R-E-M within bracket 1. This will give you some Latin text. You can replace your own text later on. And then Ctrl D to duplicate this. Bring it down and give as one there is a first option that is one give the number as one make it center align and increase the size and then send this to back so almost we are ready with the design now the first one the first option then select all the options all the objects press ctrl g or a right mouse click and just say group it and bring this to left press ctrl D again I'm going to add second option and I'm going to select these two again and press ctrl D and this will be my third and fourth option you can change the number to three and four the two is visible so just I'm just going to send this back it's okay now if you want to change the color of each select that option and change the color I'm not going to change all colors but I'm just going to show you only two so you can change the color like this and then you can go for option 3 and option 4 also 
first of all ungroup all these objects one by one or you can select all together and ungroup it because we have grouped the cutout I'm just going to remove the select all the object the option one without the cutout that is triangle and the shadow effect and send this to back group this and send this back same thing I'm just going to group this control G and send to back and this also control G and send this to back all right now it's time to do the animation go to animations enable the animation pane select the first option and say fly in fly in from bottom so using the animation painter I'm just going to do for the rest of the options this is second this is third and this is fourth by mistakenly option 3 I have not yet uh, grouped it properly so but you can see here at the bottom the options are visible when it's coming up so I'm just going to add one more uh, box there with the same background so that it will hide the animation effect So if you play it here, you can see it just coming up. It's not showing in the bottom now. So let's see. When I click option one, then two, then three and four. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.